Once upon a time, there was a little Doberman puppy named Onyx who lived in Florida with his family. Onyx loved to play and explore, but he always dreamed of going on an adventure. One day he was exploring a beautiful park when he saw a little bunny hopping around. The bunny's name was George, and he was different from any other bunny Onyx had seen before. George had a backpack and a map, and he seemed to be on a mission. He was a small, fluffy white rabbit with a cute, round face and big ears. He had soft, plush fur that was as white as snow, and his sparkling eyes were a bright blue color that shone with intelligence and curiosity. George always wore a pair of smart glasses that gave him a distinguished, intelligent look. Onyx was curious and decided to approach George. The bunny hopped over to Onyx, and with a big smile, he introduced himself. George explained that he was a big traveler, always looking for new places to explore and new friends to make. George was a born traveler, and he loved to explore new places and discover new things. He liked to read and could often be found buried in a book, poring over pages of travel guides and maps. He had a lean, athletic build and was very agile, with strong hind legs that allowed him to jump and hop around with ease. He wore a tiny backpack that was stuffed full of travel essentials, like a map, compass, and some snacks. The backpack was his constant companion, and he never went on an adventure without it. Despite his small size, George was full of energy and enthusiasm, always eager to share his travel tips and stories with anyone who would listen. Onyx was fascinated by George's stories and asked if he could join him on his travels. George happily agreed and told Onyx about a beautiful island of Hawaii that he's heading to. They set off on a journey to Hawaii, with Onyx following closely behind George's hopping footsteps. Being an experienced traveler, George knew that they could catch a ride on a cargo ship that was scheduled to depart from Florida's port to Hawaii in a few days. On the day of departure, George and Onyx sneaked into the cargo hold of the ship, and with the help of some friendly crew members, they managed to stay hidden during the voyage. As they were sailing away to Hawaii, Onyx turned to George and confided in him. I'm going to miss my family while I'm away, he said softly. I know they're proud of me for going on this adventure, but I still wish I could be with them sometimes. George listened attentively and put a paw on Onyx's shoulder. I understand how you feel, he said kindly. But just remember, your family loves you no matter where you are, and they'll always be there for you when you come back home. Onyx smiled, feeling comforted by George's wise words, and together they continued on their journey. As Onyx and George set sail from Florida, they were both filled with excitement and anticipation for the adventures that awaited them. The boat they were on was small but cozy with a little cabin for them to sleep in, a small kitchen area, and a deck where they could sit and enjoy the views. At first, the journey was calm and peaceful, with the boat gliding smoothly across the water. But as they ventured further from the shore, the wind started to pick up, and the waves grew bigger. Onyx was nervous at first, but George reassured him that they were in good hands with the captain, and that the boat was designed to handle rough waters. As they sailed further out to sea, they encountered many amazing creatures. They saw pods of dolphins leaping out of the water, giant whales breaching in the distance, and schools of brightly colored fish swimming just below the surface. Onyx was amazed by the diverse range of marine life that surrounded them, and George was happy to share his knowledge of these creatures with Onyx. During their journey, they faced many challenges. The weather was unpredictable and the boat was tossed around by the waves. They had to be careful to secure everything properly, so nothing would be damaged. Onyx felt seasick at times, and George did his best to comfort him, telling him stories of his own adventures to take his mind off his discomfort. As they approached Hawaii, they could see the towering mountains and lush green forests of the island. The captain expertly navigated the boat through the reefs and brought them to a small dock on the shore. Onyx and George were filled with excitement as they stepped off the boat and onto the sandy beach. 
Onyx had never seen anything like it before. The vibrant colors of the trees and the flowers, the sound of the waves crashing against the shore, and the warm sun on his fur all made him feel alive. As he looked around, the first thing that caught his eye was a group of colorful birds flying overhead. They were so beautiful and graceful in the air, and Onyx couldn't help but watch them in awe. Suddenly, one of the birds swooped down towards him, screeching loudly. Onyx jumped back in surprise, but the bird quickly flew away, leaving Onyx a little shaken but also curious. George, who had been unpacking his backpack, noticed Onyx's reaction and came over to see what had happened. Onyx explained what he had seen, and George chuckled. Those are angry birds, he said. They can be a bit unpredictable, but they're also quite fascinating. You'll see more of them around here. Onyx nodded, still a little nervous, but he couldn't wait to explore more of the beautiful island. 